on this video and hanging out with me. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. I'm gonna be going to church with the kids. My husband has to work, so it's just gonna be me and the kids. I've never gone myself to this church here in particular because we're staying, obviously we moved from New York and we're traveling and then now we're in North Carolina stationed here while we kind of um, slowly start building. And we found a really nice church. We visited quite a few. This one's really nice. Kids seem to like it. It reminds me a lot of the church back home. Great church community. Seems like they do a lot of outreach. They do missionary work. Um, very like, transparent. Just great sermons. I already did my skincare and I'm just getting ready right now. My makeup routine has been the same for the past, I don't know, definitely probably like two months. I shared about the Jane Iredale pressed powders and I've just been using them basically every single day. Uh, the first shade that I got was a little bit too light, especially now it's summer rolling around and I self tan. So I got a darker shade, Golden Glow, which is, matches me a lot better. And I'll use this to like highlight. So I'll just use this. I just applied a primer and then a bronzer and do my brows and that's it. So literally what I've been doing every single day, even when we went to on a family trip to Missouri. I just took, like this is literally all that I took. I didn't take anything else. And it's very space saving. It has SPF, like skincare benefits, kind of pricey. I buy it on Amazon because they do sell on Amazon. They have a storefront on Amazon. I wonder if it's gonna be on sale during Prime this year, whenever the Prime sale is. But my sister gets it like whenever Ulta has a sale. I think they have like 20 or 30% off or whatever. That's not gonna give you a glowy look at all, but I actually like that it kind of mattifies everything and has pretty decent coverage in my opinion. And then the NYX Buttermilk Bronzer, I've been using this nonstop as well. I have the one in shade Deserve Butter and I think it's such a nice bronzer. A little bit goes a long way. And the nice thing is with these products is they just blend in so easily that I feel like I'm like boom, 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 done. And I'm not sitting here for a year and a half trying to do my makeup. All right, the brows on the other hand, I have to do off camera because it's gonna take me a hot minute. I did my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair now. My nose keeps itching. I, hate, I don't know what the heck is going on. And I'm gonna get ready and we're gonna head out to church. I think we have like probably an hour left. Wait, I feel like we didn't have breakfast yet. I gotta make breakfast still. I totally forgot. I'm just gonna do quick croissant sandwiches for them. I can't find that. That's like a great option if your kids love that. ready to go. I want to show you guys my OOTD, some jeans, some flats, this cute little vest from Shein, and we gotta go. I'm gonna grab my little notes notebook and start taking like sermon notes, even though they do little handouts at church. Um, I just feel like you retain information a lot better when you take notes, and I was never really a note taker, so we are gonna take some notes. Hi, I have a mobile order for Natalia. I wanted to chat in the car real quick. I ended up stopping by Dunkin' because it was on the way and I had some points to use up. So I did like a custom drink. One flavor that I love for the summer is coconut mocha, cold brew. So I ordered a cold brew and then I added three mocha swirl shots and three shots of coconut. So it's mocha and coconut and then two creams because otherwise a cold brew doesn't have cream. And it's pretty good. I don't know, I love the flavor of like mo co mocha. I was gonna say mocha. <laughs> I love the flavor of coconut mocha together. Today's sermon was good. It was on the topic of prayer and how there's a wrong way to pray like the pharisees and the pagans and making sure that everybody hears you and like trying to appear righteous and just repeating things without any meaning and then there's a right way to pray and jesus gave us the example with the prayer of our father which art in heaven hallowed be their name your kingdom come your will be done as it is in heaven and it was like going through that and how to pray properly and i will say that something that i do need to work on in my personal life is having like an intimate prayer time every single day i do pray like throughout the day i'm always like talking to god and sharing things and but just like an intimate deep prayer time like i feel like our parents really had that and it was such an important part of their lives that prayer life that it kind of got lost in my life i didn't really prioritize it and i love my bible study time i love reading my bible 
but when it comes to prayer, it wasn't as deep, I feel like. So definitely something I have to work on. They gave some tips at the end. It was praying the Bible, so like going through Psalms. Let's say, for example, finding something. He gave the example of the Lord is my shepherd. And when you read that, like what comes to mind? So thank you for caring for me. Thank you for guiding for me. So when you pray scripture, pray what comes to your mind when you read that scripture. And then X, the acronym adoration. This is kind of what I told my kids as well. There was another one I saw on the internet. I think it was P-R-A-Y, praise, repent, acknowledge, and yield. So this is very similar. It's adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. And then he said set a timer. So some great notes that I wanted to share because that's something that I need to work on myself. And then as I was driving there, I was listening to, I think it was the Light FM. I'm pretty sure it was Light FM. Sometimes I have sermons on there. I'm gonna have to find this sermon because it was really good. It was Anne Graham Lotz, Living in the Light. And she was speaking on the Holy Spirit and not quenching the Holy Spirit and being filled with the Holy Spirit. So a lot of times we, want God we want all of God when we're in church on Sunday and we're in worship like God fill me with the Holy Spirit come down on me I want to feel your presence and then we'll like go to the grocery store or we'll get in a car and somebody cuts us off and we're like super angry and mad and we we're not filled with the Holy Spirit then we're like quenching him or we'll come home like for me for example and the kids and they'll like piss you off or something and you're like yelling and you're not being filled with the Holy Spirit because you're quenching the Holy Spirit. You're not walking in the Spirit in those moments. And she was just, it was just like a great reminder of truth to, in all that you do, in all that you do, you know, acknowledge Him and be filled with the Spirit. Not just like in times when you need it or you want it, but like in everything. And it's like a daily walk. She was saying it's like a daily thing that you have to do in every single moment. So just those words of encouragement that I personally wanted to share that kind of really encouraged me this morning but i'm gonna go inside now because we is hungry and i'm gonna make i made some chick-fil-a homemade chick-fil-a sandwiches what i did is i cut up chicken breast and then i pounded some of it to thin them out and then i would dip it in like a milk and egg mixture and, and then dip that in flour and i personally air fried it and when you air fry it it's not as crispy as if you fried it in oil but it's a little bit healthier and then you just make like chick-fil-a type sandwiches out of it and it was pretty good like i mentioned i air fried them yesterday so now i'm gonna try pan frying them in oil see the difference and just like that it's already dinner time so i had a leftover salmon filet so i went ahead and fried that up i had some leftover rice and then i had all the other ingredients to make Sushi salmon bowls. Are you sushi? Sushi bowls. Not sushi, sushi though. One of these days we should make sushi. But I already put everything in the bowl. So the last step is just to cut up some nori sheets. And I feel like this is what gives it that sushi roll flavor. Without it, it's just not the same. So I have some rice on the bottom, avocado, some jalapeno, the salmon, and then I'm just gonna add the nori sheets and then drizzle the spicy mayo on top. Oh, and then I also have the spicy avocado sauce. Um, yeah, avocado hot sauce. I'm gonna do that as well. Okay, not the cutest presentation, but easy, delicious, nutritious, filling. It's good. Mm -hmm. 